Let's get straight into it. Is the iPad Pro worth it for engineering students? If you want the answer as quickly as possible, yes, it is worth it based on my personal experience, which I'll explain later on this video. But in regards to a purchase decision though, honestly, iPads aren't cheap. It's really expensive. And I think a lot of people are tempted by getting an iPad because uh, a lot of medical students are making videos on their digital note-taking process and they're getting high grades, right? And it's getting a lot of views. So you might think, rah, I need an iPad. But the truth is though, and I don't hear this being emphasized on YouTube often, is that the iPad is just a tool. I'm not friends with everybody in my course, but I know that I'm one of the few people who does own an iPad and I know plenty of people who don't own an iPad, right? And has done as good as me in the exams or if not better. And what I've learned from that is that it's way more important to focus on developing good study habits, good time management skills, and overall just make sure you look after yourself. So what you gotta ask yourself now is, are you, you know, do you have good study habits? Like, are they solid? Like, are, you, are they decent, yeah? Because at the end of the day, you're not gonna be focused on how you made the notes. You're gonna be focused on raw. Did I actually learn the content? The iPad won't make you pass your exams. It's eventually what's in here. I can't lie though, the iPad is really good at what it does. And now I wanna talk about my personal experience with it. Firstly, why did I buy the iPad? In my life, I've tried handwritten notes and typed notes, and I was sold to the idea that the iPad could bring the best of both worlds. I wanted to make digital notes and I wanted to reap the benefits of a paperless student. Yes, I did use it for um, note taking, but I also had the intentions of making videos on it as well. Like I wasn't gonna buy a completely new laptop or gaming laptop or whatever, just to edit these videos. No, 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 no. All these videos that you see on this channel, yeah? It's all edited, processed all on my iPad. So that's well, that was another motivating factor for me to get this tablet. So yeah, keep in mind your needs and what you want to create or consume. Also like you, yeah, back when I was making the purchase decision, I was also watching these medical students and how they took notes on their iPads. And immediately I was sold to the iPad because I immediately like, Yo, I can see myself organizing my notes this way and this is how I would use it and yeah, from, the, from then on, right, I decided to save up my money and I saved up for ages and my parents contributed as well, thank God, and I ended up buying the refurbished 12.9 inch iPad Pro with 256 gigabytes and I got a brand new Apple Pencil <laughs> and I got the Smartfolio keyboard on eBay because it was cheaper then. I also bought GoodNotes 5, which is my main note-taking app. I also bought the paper-like screen protector because I've heard it was good and oh my days, all that money, man, oh my days. So what was it like owning an iPad on a day-to-day -day basis? So I made a day in the life of an engineering student a while ago and yeah, that's pretty much my day. I wake up, I have breakfast, I have a separate to-do list on an A5 uh, notebook and I'd attend lectures online and I'd also download the lectures from my university portal and then write my notes on top of my slides. After lectures, you know, like any student, I'd go about my day and throughout the week I'd go gym. Yeah, throughout the week I'd just chill on my ones because back then it was like lockdown. But yeah, I'd chill, but also I'd be studying. I'd say I was really organized with my notes because I had folders within folders and I had notebooks for each module. And that's the first noticeable difference of not owning an iPad to owning an iPad is like, Everything is so accessible. I no longer had physical books or folders to worry about, literally all my slides or everything paper, right? It's just a few clicks away on GoodNotes. I was also no longer worried about losing anything because everything was on my iPad. Shaking my head, man, these are first world problems still. But moving on, yeah, the second noticeable difference was the 12.9 inch screen. Listen, yeah, listen, listen. There's something about the screen, yeah, the massive screen and the overall build quality that puts me in the mindset of, yo, I want to create something. I'm not saying it fully motivated me to work, but every time I would, you know, set it, my iPad up on my desk, I would always want to, you know, get something out of my day. I know it sounds mad, but it's worth mentioning, like the psychology of the bigger screen does really affect how you use the machine and yeah, for me, it just made me, it just put me in the mood like, yo, I want to create something. But you could also argue that it's because I spent a lot of money on it. <laughs> 
The third noticeable difference was the workflow. Back when I had physical notes in sixth form and like first year uni, every time I would be revising, I'd have my folders opened up, different notebooks open, sheets of paper scattered around my desk, like the whole place was cluttered. But with an iPad, everything is just in one place. With the iPad, half of the screen is my notes and the other half are my lecture notes. Things was just so much easier this way. If I wanted to copy and paste an image, I could screenshot it and then drag and drop it onto GoodNotes. When I made a mistake, I would just rub it out and then start over again. Whereas on paper, I tend to scribble. I can also resize things and group things together. and that's something that's just impossible on paper. I can download PDFs and books and highlight and annotate on top of them. In terms of the writing experience, yeah, the iPad is proper solid, but I honestly still enjoy writing on paper, which is why I still own a A5 notebook. I also want to mention that in the long term, the iPad will become your new default. What I mean by that is when you first own an iPad, you know, it's it's quite exciting. You know, you've got you're introduced to all these new tools and stuff. And yeah, but honestly, in the long term, you forget about the iPad being an iPad and you forget about all the features that it could bring you. What you care about more is can you learn the content? Can you do the questions like the, the thought of the iPad blew past me during the exam period like I don't care like for me is I need to do this paper like I need to do well I need to make sure that I'm on my A game you know you won't be thinking about the iPad as a tool you honestly at, at that point in time you're just gonna be thinking wow I know this stuff like yo jeez like man did bits in the exam so going back to that question, is the iPad Pro worth it for engineering students? As I said in the beginning of this video, yes, it is worth it. I personally don't regret my purchase decision. But then again, I do still think about that price. Like, fam, it ain't cheap. Like, it's so expensive. Which is why you really, really, really got to keep in mind that this is just a tool. But I still got a 2-1 in my degree if I didn't use an iPad. <laughs> I mean, honestly, who knows, like, but I reckon I would have because I figured it out in sixth form. I figured it out in uni, in first year uni. And yeah, the, the iPad is just like a techie techie way to like learn stuff like you don't need it. But that's really hard for me to say because I have owned it. So, ah, it, it, ah. But what I can say is do not buy an iPad for the hype and do not buy it because of FOMO. It is so much more important to focus on developing good study habits, developing good time management and taking care of yourself, like your physical health, your mental health, everything. The video is done at this point, but for my subscribers out there, the lo you know, the loyal ones, right? I might be getting my software engineering job soon, you know, my first one. Oh, are you guessed? Because I am. Oh, it was a lot sooner than I thought, honestly. But yeah, man, yeah, man, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'll keep you posted. I'll keep you posted.